Hello guys, do you still remember when people used desktop computers to mine bitcoins years ago? Although most people have lost those bitcoins, but you might still sometimes wonder how people mine bitcoins today. Especially when one bitcoin is worth a hundred thousand dollars. As more and more people mining Bitcoin, the mining difficulty has increased significantly. It's nearly impossible to mine Bitcoins or even making any profit using ordinary computers now. So what equipment do people use? The mining equipment can be divided into two main categories. The first one is ASIC miners, which use specialized ASIC chips with specific algorithms. And different algorithms mine different cryptocurrencies. And they can only perform mining work and cannot change algorithms. The advantage of ASIC miners is their powerful chips specifically designed for mining. And the higher hash power means higher return. And of course, machines with higher hash power are more expensive. A $5,000 Bitcoin ASIC miner might generate around $20 daily. Yes, and it's because ASIC miners work through a mining pool. And mining pool pays you a small amount of Bitcoins directly each day. Usually it's like 0 0.000001 Bitcoins. And uh, which converts to dozens of dollars. However, ASIC miners have unchangeable disadvantages. The first is cost. As these machines typically consume massive amounts of power from thousands to 10,000 watts, resulting in huge daily electricity cost. So when you generate daily income, a large portion is lost to electricity costs. Additionally, due to high power consumption, the actual operation is quite extreme, producing loud noise and uh, extremely high temperature. You need to control the environmental temperature or the machine will stop working if it overheats. In short, if you use ASIC miners to mine bitcoins, there are so many factors to consider. It's not recommended for non-professionals. And now let's move on to the second type of Bitcoin mining equipment, the solo miners. They are usually cheaper, usually costing a few hundred dollars. And unlike ASIC miners work in mining pools, solo miners work independently. Simply put, solo mining has no daily returns, but if successful, you get the reward for an entire block. Not 0.00001 Bitcoin, but a full 3.125 Bitcoins. And you can imagine the volume, right? However, with this method, no one knows or predict when you will mine a block. It might be months, years, or even decades. And some might ask, wouldn't running it for years bankrupt me with electricity bills? Actually, the answer is no. Unlike ASIC miners, Solo miners are usually smaller and with lower power consumption, possibly similar to your home TV or your uh, refrigerator's standby power consumption. So we don't need to worry about that. As you can see, Bitcoin solo miners are more like lottery miners. It's like buying lottery ticket every day, believing that one day you will win 3.125 Bitcoins. Sounds interesting, right? It's even more reliable than buying actual lottery ticket. Indeed, it's not a bad idea for ordinary people to place one or several Bitcoin solo miners at home. But when you purchasing solo miners, and we need to also consider the machine quality, materials, stability, and other factors, as these aspects are crucial for long-term operation if you want to win a Bitcoin. For example, this BTC Solo Pro from Jingle Miner that I have here offers top level network hash power and first class quality control. Next, I will show you the complete assembly process of the Jingle Miner BTC Solo Pro at the factory, which will give you a more comprehensive understanding of Solo Miners. <laughs> 